present. It was barely 8 a.m. and the phone was already ringing. Caroline could make out the distinctive three-ring chime that signaled a long-distance call, even with the bathroom door closed and the shower running. Thank you so much for entertaining us so well with your book. Uh, I would say yes. I can. Uh, I, I usually uh, write about women. Uh, occasionally, I write about men as well, but usually from a woman's point of view. So um, I think yes, very definitely, because I understand women much better than I understand men, whom I do not claim to understand at all. So um, I. But I, I think I understand myself pretty well, and I don't think I'm all that different from most women. So, you know, in our basic, the way we think and what concerns us. So I'm, more, I'm just more interested, in, frankly, in what women have to say. Well, I think my basic uh, routine has stayed more or less the same. Uh, we travel a lot more now, so I'm, I, I have a lot more interruptions, and it's harder getting back into a routine. But I, as always, I prefer to write in the morning, and I'll work for, say, three or four hours. And uh, I'm a little slower getting started than I used to. I don't get as much accomplished as I used to in a day, so that's a little frustrating for me but uh, I, it all somehow gets done and uh, it gets done on time so uh, that that's fine as far as the actual writing goes I as I said I mean I would hope I'm a better writer than I was I would hope that I am you know growing that my technique is better that um, you know, but my, my first responsibility is always to tell a good story and to tell it the best way I can. I like contemporary fiction. I, I love fiction. I love a good novel. It doesn't have to be suspense. In fact, it's rarely suspense. Uh, just because I find uh, a lot of suspense writing to be very generic. It's like there's no individual author's voice. So I like, uh, I like a really good story. I don't care what genre it's in, but I like a good story and I like it to be written well. Yeah, I don't really like science fiction or fantasy. That doesn't really appeal to me, although I have to say TV-wise, I'm absolutely addicted and have been from the very first season of Game of Thrones. I absolutely love it. And I even accept the dragons and all, you know, all sorts of, you know, kind of far-fetched far far uh, things happening. I, and that I love. But do I want to read it? No. I wouldn't read a book that had, uh, you know, I've never read any of the books. So I'm not particularly interested in fantasy. I... I'm very grounded in reality. I'm very practical, so uh, fantasy is just not something that appeals to me. Ah, that's um, okay. In four words, I would say smart, uh, strong. My husband would probably say tough but I'll say strong, funny, and practical. <laughs> well, you see, he would probably say tough. Uh, if he's smart, he'll say sexy. Um, I think he'd say smart. And the fourth word. Um, 
I'm not sure what the fourth word would be. There is a toss up. <laughs> he might he might say funny. I don't know. Uh, well, it's it's a fascinating country, first of all. But uh, I I think um, one of the reasons is that I've been so accepted here. You know, it's it's so nice to come somewhere where they really like you and they appreciate what you do and they make you feel so comfortable. I think we we share a, a sensibility. I I. I get on really very well with all the German people that I've met, and I really like them. They seem very, you know, smart and literate and, uh, you know, just uh, quite outspoken. I think that's probably a word that I would use to describe myself, and maybe my husband would use it too. I, I, outspoken or, like, I'm very direct. I, I say exactly what's on my mind, so you never have to second guess the way I feel about anything. Um, and uh, I find that the German people are quite direct as well. So I, so I really, you know, I just love coming here, and I love, you know, I, I find Munich to be just a gorgeous city, so. <laughs>